In this video, we're going to learn how to make a sliding door in Roblox without code by using built-in physics. The key concepts here are attachments, constraints, and drag detectors. The Roblox engine is a simulation engine, which means that things like physics just work out of the box when you're making experiences in Studio. We're going to use that built-in functionality to make the sliding doors. So first, we need a door. I'm just going to use a part with a wood material. These are my dimensions if you want to copy them. Now we need our door to move. To do this, we'll need to use attachments and constraints. Attachments are used to connect one object to another. They look like this. Constraints use attachments to determine how those objects connect. There's a bunch of different types of constraints that allow the attachments to behave in different ways, like a ball and socket, hinge, and rope. For our sliding door, we're going to use what's called a prismatic constraint. A prismatic constraint allows two attachments to slide along one axis but not rotate, which is exactly the functionality we want for our sliding door. To set this up, first we need to attach an attachment to our part. Hit the plus button next to your part in the explorer and search for attachment. Rename it to attachment zero. I'll explain why in a minute. Using the transform tools, move it down to the bottom corner of the door. Now you might notice that one of these arrows is yellow. This is the axis or the direction that the part that the attachment is attached to, so in our case the door, will move along. Now with one attachment set up, we're halfway done to being eligible to set up our constraint, which requires two attachments. The second attachment will go on the wall that our sliding door slides up against. Select your wall part in the explorer, add another attachment, and place it down near the corner of the door. Make sure the yellow arrow for both attachments are pointing in the same direction. Name this door attachment, Attachment 1. With both attachments attached to their respective parts, it's time for the constraint. Under the object you want to move, so in this case the door, click the plus button and search for Prismatic Constraint. With it selected in its properties panel, scroll until you find the attachment section. By default, Prismatic Constraints take two attachment parameters, Attachment 0 and Attachment 1. These parameters aren't referring to the attachments you made and renamed. Right now, they're empty and need to be linked. To link them up, click Attachment 0 in the Properties window, then click your Attachment 0 in the Explorer. Do the same for Attachment 1. By renaming your attachments intentionally when you create them, you make this linking step really clear and easy to follow. With everything linked, all that's left to do is make the door interactable. To do this, we're going to use a drag detector, which lets you use your input device to interact with physics objects directly. Click the plus button next to your door in the Explorer window and select Drag Detector. Now it's time to playtest your experience. Try to drag open the door and see if it works. <laughs> That's supposed to happen. To stop your door from sliding to infinity, make another wall parallel to the first and try again. Congrats, you now have a working sliding door in Roblox, all without having to write a single line of code. Thanks for watching. We hope you found that helpful. Do you have a video topic you'd like us to cover? Let us know in the comments. For more tutorials and resources to help bring your vision to life on Roblox, be sure to check out the resources in the description.